Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the sixth day of Limbankamai Printmaking uh, Contemporary Print Fair. We've got two talks this afternoon, back to back. And the first one is going to be a most interesting conversation with a gallery and a printmaker. And then followed by another talk this afternoon at uh, five o'clock, a uh, memorial tribute to Ramon Jofilenia, a printmaker, artist, and cultural advocate. So today I'd like to introduce you to, um, to our two, first of our two speakers. Um, I'd like to welcome our guest, Don Achenza. Hello, Don. Hello, Don. Just quickly. Hello, Don. Just quickly, I'm going to, I'm going to introduce you that um, you're the founder and director of Tin Ao Art Management, an arts project and artist management group based in the Philippines. Uh, Don has been a gallerist for Tin Ao Art Gallery, which has exhibited, collaborated, and participated in the local and international art ecosystem for over 12 years. Welcome, Don. Thank and you. I'd like to welcome your partner in crime, <laughs> the great little Henry L. Pagkaliwangan. Hello. Hi, Henry L. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you welcome. for inviting me. Yes, um, I'd like to introduce you to our viewers and then you can start with your lively conversation. I'm just going to sit back and react. Henry L. lives and works in Cavite, Philippines. Did I really say this? A hot potato artist, a fine arts UP graduate. She won the grand prize in the Don Papa Rum art competition with a one month residency in Florence, Italy. Oh, you never told me about that. Her work has been exhibited in both solo and group exhibitions in the Philippines, Indonesia, and Taiwan. So welcome, Dawn. Welcome, Henrielle. And um, thank you for taking over this uh, fun conversation. I'm just going to sit back and enjoy. Henrielle, <laughs> you can start. OK. Sige. <laughs> Next slide. Saka, saka ako. <laughs> okay, gay. So, um, thank you sa mga nag-invite for this talk. Um, one of the questions na tanong nila Angela when we were going to have this discussion was, how do print exhibitions happen? And um, we've featured a lot of prints in, in 12 years now, but we've had some exhibitions na uh, naka-concentrate or madaming prints in the exhibition. So this is the first one, La Espera, a solo exhibition by Diana Osterberry. How this happened was uh, we just opened in 2008. And uh, our first show was a group exhibition. And then wala kaming slot, actually. <laughs> wala kaming next shows na naka-line up. Um, uh, it so happened na si Eski, Alfredo Esquilio, told me about a printmaker he met through another artist, si Alvin Cristobal. This is the aunt of Alvin's wife, si Diana. Diana is a Filipino printmaker based in Canada and Mexico. So naga ano siya? She goes back and forth six months, six months Canada, six months Mexico. And uh, she used to be a nurse. Tapos naging printmaker. Next slide. So the the title of the show is La Espera, meaning I think it's it roughly translates to the waiting. Um, I'll just show you uh, some. Im images of her works now. On the left, that's Strange Fruit. It's based on the song of Billie Holiday, yung lynching in the early uh, 20th century. And then on the other side is Stand By Me. This is her parang tribute to, the artist tribute to her father. Her father uh, went through the death march 
stop in World War II, tapos namatay siya sa prison camp. If you see the red flowers on, in front, those are poppies na usually binig gayon during Memorial Day. Angela, I'm sure you know this. Um, during Memorial Day um, for war veterans. No? Yeah. Next. And this is a mystical piece by Diana. It, it, contemplate the stars. Okay. Next slide. Okay, another show that we did was in collaboration with Ambi Abano. And this was for her uh, masteral thesis at the UP Vargas Museum. Nagkataon lang that she was in the gallery Tapos, we were talking about her thesis nga. Her, her advisor was Leo Abaya. And um, so what we did, we just offered actually to help out with the documentation. And we made a printed material for her, a fold out. Yeah. And so that's how we supported this exhibition. Next. Her thesis actually are, uh, the works are portraits of real people. It's just that instead of flat surfaces, si Ambi, ginawa niya, meron silang depth. Mer if you go side view sa work, makikita mo na meron siyang form. So in a way, medyo sculpture siya. So these are prints tapos um, on uh, stretchable textile with uh, stuffed with foam and other objects. Next. What I like about the works of Ambi is she, she really likes to explore different materials. So hindi not only paper, but even objects, everyday objects. Next. For example, for this one, umbrella. Next slide. Okay. So from this um, master's, master of thesis show, Ambi did a solo show at Tin Ao. And uh, for this show naman, it's more of um, memory, nostalgia. And she uses parang domestic items and uses them for her prints, like this piece, sewing machine. I think that's a Lola's image. Next slide. This is Ambi with the different works. Next. Oh, I want to talk about this work. This is Galimgim, the title of this. No? Um, if you see the image, it's like the design, no? the direct image. Um, but these are actually... Uh, this is a print on paper on the left, and the next is a print on canvas, and then the next is the actual wood na may ink. You wow. can see it. Nakikita mo yung brown sa gitna. Naka edge yeah. out. Yes. And then on the right, I think this is paper also. So wow. she, used, she used different material. Tapos she combined them all into this tableau. Next. Okay. Now we have a current exhibition which we helped out uh, Viva XCon. Uh, this is Miss Brenda Fajardo. See, Miss Brenda did a lot of prints in the 1970s, and then she moved on to other media. Um, but these are some examples. Next. Figures in motion. Next. Moon God. And then... Sarili sa kahon. A lot of her works at that time were based on bodies. Kasi si Miss Brenda, yung kanyang mom and her sister, they were dancers eh. So, she could not pursue it herself. Pero that's her subject sa drawings niya, sa prints niya. Yan. Oh, ito na, si Miss Henry. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> kwento lang about Henrielle. We met Henrielle when she was still in high school. Uh, ano siya, sudyante siya sa Makiling, Philippine High School for the Arts, through Don Salubayba. She would help out Don during the installation of this exhibition in Tinhao. 
And then we also, so we knew she was going to UP. And then during her UP days, we'd even sell some of her prints in Art in the Park. And so we, we had those um, early works, no? And then after she graduated, we would still continue to work with her until eventually we kind of agreed to mutual agreement <laughs> <laughs> for representation. And then what happened was, um, tuloy -tuloy kasi tong si Henry L, eh. what happened was, um, Aji Lizares visited Tinao. Aji mm -hmm. of uh, Gallery Capitana no? and A Bungalow visited Tinao. Tapos, I told him about Henry L kasi he liked her work so much. If we could have a residency in Negros um, for her. So, si Henry L naging guinea pig for the residency in Talisay. So, the, um, the image on the left side, that's her. And then, from that show, somehow, so Mali si Henry L for the second time sa Don Papa art competition. And because she, um, timing, yung theme niyata ng Don Papa was based. Sugarlandia. Mm -hmm. Henry L. Yeah. Mm, yes. Yeah. So, madami siyang references because she already had a residence, you know, in Negros. That's how I met Angela. Yes. yes. <laughs> no, Angela. That's how we met you. Mm. <laughs> so, so, she was, uh, she won the Don Pop Art Award. That's Sir Ben with her, who was one of the judges, who invited her to have an exhibition at the Benka Museum. Which we did in 2019. 19. Yeah, 2019. Mm -hmm. And on the the picture on the right is Henry L in Florence. That's an, uh, the image of the the picture of the actual Don Papa packaging already in Italy. And then after Don? that, yeah. Uh -oh. Don, uh, that was a prize that she won in the competition ah yes yes sorry the don papa art competition the prize is a residency in florence which ah. you know, um kabado kami na si Henriel, <laughs> who was so young well we thought she was so young because she's so small anyway we went with her <laughs> <laughs> chaperone sure <laughs> yeah i, don't think I was 23 then when yes, she was yeah. so <clears throat> I think I was only supposed we were only supposed to stay for a week yata tapos siya na tuloy -tuloy. but what happened was inasabay ko si my cousin Maria with her kasi ang takot nga ako kasi nga bata <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> she loved it oh. yeah and then after that um si Henriel had her first solo and pin out the that's the image in the middle. Um, she's with Diana Osterberry, who happened to be in Manila at that time. Wow. wow. Yeah. Nice. Nice. And then, yes. And then after that, in timestamps, which Henry L will go into more detail later. Yeah. Mm. So, ito ang ating first question. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Don. <laughs> that was a, that's Dawn's question to us, diba? Yes. Yes. Uh, Don, as if you are uh, asking the questions from, you know, asked of you by your clients and customers and the art par public, diba? Yes, yeah. because um, a lot of people, well, not so much, now kasi medyo mas alam na ng tao how a print is made eh. Kasi nga because mm -hmm. of social media. Well, yeah, Angela, compared to 2008. <laughs> <laughs> In okay. 2008, in 2008, okay. Uh, in 2008, as in papasok sila sa gali, tapos nila, bakit? Ito ba poster lang yan? Lang yan. Oh, okay. Lang yan. So, so, you know, um, we had to tell them about yung, well, as much as we could, no? Yung process behind it. But I guess you would be able to answer that then. Ayan. Yeah, take Henry over. <laughs> so, ayan, uh, to answer this question, I would uh, I would expound on that. I will be talking on about my uh, printmaking process. So, hand-pulled hand prints are different from posters, of course. So, ayan. Asa na ba ang slide ko? 
Yan. So, ito yung mga prints na ginawa ko during college. Uh, some of these were, were the first works I consigned with Tin Ao. So, I started printmaking when I was a student at Philippine High School for the Arts. I took printmaking classes under Sir Don sa Lubayba. And in UP College of Fine Arts, I started taking up printmaking again under Miss Ambi. Mm-hmm. So there, I got to know uh, different printmaking processes, the techniques, and uh, among those processes, what which I like best is uh, dry point. So that's uh, making incisions on an acrylic sheet and using that as a matrix to transfer the image on the paper. So mamaya papakita ko kung paano. <laughs> So anyway, question, uh, question, yeah. question, question, yes. Henry. I know, I think, huh? Correct me if I'm wrong. Dry point, because you are masterful drafts person in drawing. I've seen uh, you. <laughs> Ayun, uh, so, so most of my works are drawings. I use pen and ink on paper, and I find that dry point is the closest process to pen and ink. That's why yeah. I chose uh, dry point. So, yeah. ayun. Kaya, mas, tsaka mas cheap siya than um, etching. Yeah. <laughs> you have to buy the metal plate and the acid bath and there's so many things. So, with uh, dry point, you just buy a sheet of plastic and use a whatever pointed tool you have. So ano? Ayun. Ano? You told me dart. about your pointed tool. I use a dart. <laughs> dart. Dart? You yes. got a dart board? <laughs> dart board, yes. Oh, it's got a nice handle. You know, you can grip it. She showed me. Yeah. Oh. Mm-mm. So, ayun. I will just show a video nung process, uh, Tanya.
Ayan. <laughs> last, week, last week lang yan. <laughs> so like the print, the print, I submitted no. the print there. <laughs> you, you, you cannot, you have to stop because I gotta react. I have got to react. <laughs> By the way, uh, all your, all, all, everybody announcement, huh? You are sold out on Cartelino during the print fair. No, thank you. Thank you for your submissions. But as another print maker, I have to comment. It is so good to see the whole process, but also to compare notes, like how you do it differently. You've got your own style. No, I'm not going to ask you questions about why did you do that? No, because it's not my, my place <laughs> until we're face to face. But you were um, showing the transfer, we uh, kind of explaining the technicalities to the viewers. No, correct me if I'm wrong, Henriel, that you had your drawing and then you printed it out. And mirror then, image. Mirror image, that was a point because it has to be uh, opposite mm -hmm. when you place your clear plexi plate or acrylic plate over it and you start scratching your design then it's in reverse ready to print and then when you were inking it with the ink aba charbonnel no <laughs> that is <laughs> high quality one of the top labels you know high quality etching ink but I was kind of surprised that you didn't even like ink the whole plate, no? Parang saving ink. Why waste the ink if you're going to wipe it off anyway? Oh, tama, no? So walang plate tone. Ang linis. Your, your wiping was so clean that I was wondering, because I can hear it, the, the scratching uh, when you were applying it. How many prints can you make in an addition from a plexi plate? Up to 10. 10 is the maximum, I think. After that, that the huh. tape starts to wear down. And, and that's what uh, I think we were referring to with Elmer also. It, it degrades over each print. You, you have to stop. It won't be as good and as yes. exact. Because in this case, you are making an addition. How many ba in this edition? You said seven. seven. I was able to oh. pull out seven. And each one has to be exact, the same as your approved artist proof, diba? Mm -hmm. Wow. You're wiping and linis. <laughs> Exacto. It's it's Don, I hope you don't mind. I'm just getting excited. It's it's quite masterful, no? To do that consistently. So that process for us is uh parang a quality standard. So I hope you know viewers will understand that that the process is very particular skills are very good draftsmanship with the drawing but later on the uh the the making the plate inking the plate wiping it uh print the paper and printing it so what paper were you using henry uh, watercolor paper called press fabriano wow <laughs> Good, good job. I got to try that paper. It looks good. It looks, oh yeah. See, another tip we have to share with other printmakers. Fabriano, watercolor uh, press, cold press. You're using the flat, the other side that's flat, not it's textured. Flat. Okay. Yes. Thank you. No, oh, I, I can just talk too much, no? <laughs> so, so, ayun, iba talaga from posters kasi there's the trace of the hand. Still handmade it now, H. Uh, interruption. Yeah. What are you poster referring to silk screen? Very common no, uh, as posters. Digital siguro. No. Kamay. Yung mga, like CCP ah, has yes, a collection yes. of mm. movie posters, uh, uh, concert bands. Those are all silk screen, screen and they're yeah. very commonly called posters. So, Don, you could have a, an exhibit of fine collectible works on paper that are posters because they're very uh, culture, pop, you know, centered. Um, yeah. And CCP has, oh, oh. C CCP has a collection. Okay, I want to see that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 
Ayan. Sorry ha, keep going. Okay. <laughs> Sayang nga eh. <laughs> Ayun, asa na ba ako? So yun, after college, I, uh, I worked, asa na ba yung aking slide? I worked as an assistant for Miss Ambi. So I visited the studio of Association of Pinoy Printmakers, uh, formerly PAP at the CCP complex. So this is the view outside the studio. So this is where we hang out. We um, unwind, take a breather after working and watch the sunset together. So this is the view that inspired my next series, uh, personal printmaking project. Of, uh, so ayun. So every year, uh, PAP mounts a show at CCP. And I thought of capturing this view for one of the group shows we had. Kasi wala akong maisip. <laughs> dun, dun, dun inspired by nature. Start. Yes, inspired by nature. So ayun. Pero frustrating siya kasi I, I was trying to capture the water. Pero hindi siya nagta-turn up as I, I'd hope. Kasi masyadong sharp yung lines. So makikita nyo dito sa print on the left side. Masyado siyang, uh, ano bang term? Sharp? Too linear. Ano bang term sa ganito? <laughs> what, what are you saying? High contrast? Too much yeah, high too, contrast? Too, too much high contrast. Parang hindi siya water. It doesn't look like water. So I made a lot of trial prints, trial and error, trying to capture that. So ito rin. Ang dami ko naging issues like wrong paper, wrong inconsistency, mga ganon. Uh, too much wiping. And eventually the plate start, started wearing down. Yeah. Which... Yeah. Uh, which actually worked to my advantage because the lines started to soften. Yes, yes. Tama. Tama. So, diba? <laughs> so, after many trial and error attempts, this is the first one that turned out okay. Ito wow. yung na-show sa isang isa sa group show sa CCP with PAP. So, ayun. 13 by 13. Mm. Tapos after that, uh, nung ginagawa ko yung trial prints, uh, I realized na you can extend the image into multiples, so many variations. So taking the same plate, pwede kang gumawa ng iba-ibang mood, iba-ibang colors. You can play around and experiment with the ink and the wiping. So I thought of capturing more, uh, trying to capture more colors. Ito yung nasa likod ni Miss Don. Kung nakikita niyo. Ayun. Oh, lucky. <laughs> lucky. Siguro sold out na rin to. <laughs> Ayun. So, around three feet across to. So, it's a triptych. So, day, sunset, and nighttime. So, ayun. So, ito yung detail shot ng nighttime. So, there's actually another layer. So, for the lights, I took a blank sheet of plexi and incised the lights and used uh, white ink. So actually, may third layer pa siya, yung night time. Ayun. Question. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it gets into shop talk and technique, no? Two, two plates. The first plate has all the buildings, no? Um, no, the first plate is the gradient. Just the colors. Of the of the color, the yes. yes. You did that before with a rainbow roll. No? Yes. Where you modified it from, you know, dark blue to light blue and it meets in the middle. Okay. Everybody else can go Google rainbow roll. Okay. So, Ayan, <laughs> with a bigger brayer. And then, what's next? That's the first layer, color, the grade, the color gradation. So, the next, next is layer. The, the buildings and the sea. Mm-hmm. Mm so then to see I I solved the problem of the two sharp lines I by maintaining the plate tone. So I don't wipe the ink completely off the plate. So yes. there's some gray yes. para mas yes. soft siya. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Studio tips, nako. <laughs> Studio tips. The problem lang with plate tone you cannot repeat it on another so you when you're making additions it cannot be exactly the same so naging variable edition VE. yeah so yes variable edition na siya. so each print is one over one so wala siyang katulad that Ayun, is what <laughs> Don, Don, is that your you know is that your collectors wanting yung 
uh, limited edition, one over one lang, bucket one over one, you know, yes. all those, like, yes. they have to understand that the, the numbering, and I think we're going to answer that later or now. Don, okay, what well. do you think? <laughs> okay lang din now. So that the, I, Henry, I'll correct me again, it's kind of a mistaken emphasis to insist on one over one uh, or three over eight, you know, the early numbers, thinking that it's like, you know, the better. better. Uh, it's not true. In my, in my experience, it's like I have a stack of finished prints. They're all the same equal quality to me. It's the first one I get, I number, and I sign. Tapos. Yeah, kasi yung signing, that's the last part. Kasi you cannot sign a wet paper naman eh. Yeah. So, it's actually a yeah. idiosyncrasy, Angela. Medyo yeah. idiosyncrasy okay. na ng tao. Um, it's, it's their belief about numbers. Lucky number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the most, the most requested numbers are one and eight. Oh, yeah, eight is Chinese prosperity, and yeah, no, and nobody wants to buy number th number thirteen. So we printmakers don't print beyond ten. No, yes. okay, la. okay, la. so you know, uh, idiosyncrasies of the market and idiosyncrasies of the printmakers. Yeah. We all have it. Don, your responsibility is have the two meet. <laughs> and yeah. translation you're the yeah. translator okay Nako, people would say get going get going <laughs> Ayan, so there uh after doing these works um i realized how similar printmaking is to a scene or a view because with seascape uh, you're looking looking at the same view same elements but looks different depending on the time of the day the weather um, the season ganon and with prints naman, I'm working with the same plate, the same matrix. So a single image, then many variations. So pareho siya, di ba? Parang you're looking at the same thing, pero iba-iba yung colors. So yeah. different colors, different mood, ganun. So from these works, it evolved into a solo show in 2019. This was held at Finale Art File in cooperation with Tin Ao. Uh, the show is titled Timestamps. So timestamps referring to the... Uh, uh, the markers indicating a specific date and time of day, and stamps referring referring also to the uh, to print. A print is a stamp, di ba? So ayon. Simple. So ayon for for the solo show, I wanted to capture more of the intervals, kaysa yung night, sunset, and daytime lang. So I wanted to do more. Tapos ayon, I. I printed like 50 of these. Pero 40 lang yung okay. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. Yes. 50, uh, 40 different times of the day. Mm -mm, mm -mm. How many of each time of the day? Timestamp. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. I'm just trying to print. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, make the transitions, and then I tried to match the gradient with the with the actual time. So, so you didn't know how many you would. I, really I didn't add. know. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. Conceptually, was, Don, the, that, that, um, that's like actually that's a mind blowing. Like again. Henriel, did you have an idea in your head how many it might be? I didn't know. I'm just trying to capture as much as I can. Because I need to do it in one go. Because eh. I cannot go back to the a specific time because I, it's it would be hard to mix the exact colors. So I need. So I try to from the daytime. Then you add add some darker colors and then some orange and then little by little you build up to the darkest uh, the darkest tones. My mind is going. blowing. Yeah, my <laughs> mind. Okay, keep going. Nako. So yeah, I had to do the 50 prints, the 50 versions in one day. So it took me like 16 hours of non-stop printing. <laughs> because you didn't have a press yet. You didn't have a press at home. Yes, I had. Uh, I went 
I did the prints at the AP, PAP studio. So yun, I, need, I had to maximize the time because, you know. And it's only one plate. Yeah, it's only one. It, this one is a blank plate. So I just try to uh, lay the I, colors just... on a plate with no incisions on it. There so, you yeah, go. The rainbow right. rolls. Yeah, the rainbow rolls. Ayun, nakita mo to nung play date. <laughs> you show yeah. off. You were amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. Ayun. So yung next layer is the incisions na for the sea and the building. So ito na yun. So ito yung sinasabi ko na keeping the gray tone and not wiping everything completely off the plate. So ito. Ito yung plate over the gradient and this is the press on the right side. I, I'm about to print this layer. I this uh, print. This plate. Yeah, this plate. So ito yung some of the prints that turned out okay. So actually from the 50, parang 30 lang yung okay. Yung pumasa. Maraming issues yung iba. So ayun. So nalagas hey, those, those are, give, give yourself a few more years. Those are collectible, huh? <laughs> yung failed prints, ganun. Yes. Hmm. The failed portfolio of timestamps. Ayun. So ito yung iba. So yung title dun sa baba. You can see the 601 at the bottom, middle bottom of the print. So that's the time. So time after stamp. printing everything, I tried to match it with the actual view. So hours and hours of observing the sunset. Ang lala nung sunburn ko nito. So ito, this, the plate starts to wear down na. So you can see, hindi na masyadong malinaw yung lines. Pero okay lang kasi ang waves naman, they're not always the same. They don't look the same. Some, minsan kalmado, minsan magulo. Palusot. <laughs> I am taking notes. I am taking notes. <laughs> Kunyari, palusot. Ayun. So, ayun. Ito na yung daytime, 8.08. Ito, pa sunset na. So, 5.51 p.m., 6.20 p.m. Oh. So, the oh. lights are starting to appear na dun sa buildings. Tama. So, I add them little by little. Tapos, ito, 6.32. Ang bilis ng sunset, eh. Parang, in minutes, ang daming nangyayari. Ang daming gradations. And you're showing and reflections on the water. Ganda. Yes. Uh -uh. Ito yung nag-reflect siya. So, compare dun sa tirada time, uh, sa tirada prints, ito actually, dalawang plates for the lights, one for the white lights and one another one for uh, the yellow yellow lights. So ayun. So actually four layers na to. Yeah, yeah. Um that means exact registration. Ah, yun pala, yun din yung isang challenge kasi you have to wet the paper to soften it and oh, try yeah. to force it into the grooves. So when you wet the paper, it expands and as it dries, it shrinks. So it has to be the exact time of soaking and drying and all that para mag-exact yung layers. And did you take notes? Yes, yes. May ano yan? May timing na yan. <laughs> Kasi po, oh, oh, after 30 <laughs> times. Oh, yes. <laughs> May timing na yan. <laughs> wow. Ayun. So, ayun. Ito yung 30 prints that made it to the show, to the solo. Ito na yung lahat exhibition view. So, I mounted them in a single line, parang horizon. Tapos, eye level lang siya. So, it unfolds left to right until the night time. So, ito sunset and the night time view. So, ayun. 360 siya of 30 prints. 360 degree view. Ayun. Uh, okay lang ba pa play nung GIF? Ayun. Tinry ko siya i-ano sa computer. <laughs> Ayan. Ang galing. One more. One more. <laughs> Yay. That is awesome. You got I I want to upload that uh, as a video. <laughs> please. Sige, send ka kayo. <laughs> please. That is awesome. Uh, Can you also play uh, the flip book? Uh, yes. The other video. Oh, 
Wow. Ayun. You remember that... the show for the the interactive printmaking show at CCP? Ha- you had uh, the What was that? Um hand pulled? No. Uh, I forgot the title of the show. <laughs> you you, we, you uh, were there. I was there too. Hand pulled, hand pressed, but AP at the CCP. Uh, yeah. So interactive. Hands so on. I made the, hands, hands on. on yes. So I made the flip book for that show. Pero digitally printed na siya. Eh. Ay. Uh, okay. From that's, from the prints, from the actual that, prints, naman. <laughs> that's the only concession I will make to a digital, you know, book. Is that still available? Yes. Nasa akin lang siya. <laughs> Pero the original book is already, like, someone stole pages from it, you know. Yep, yep. Uh, so, I have to reprint it. <laughs> yep, yep. If you, you know, choose to offer it again, that would be uh, an awesome souvenir from this panel presentation. Because <laughs> I would, you know, it was like... There are three of us, there are three of us here. <laughs> Sorry, keep going. <laughs> keep Ayun, going. Sige. Back to the slides. Na tayo. Ayun, so, nasa na ba ako? Ayun lang, so that's how my perception on printmaking changed. So, initially, I viewed this as a, just a way to make multiples of my drawings. Pero I realized that uh, it's more than that. Um, it has the capability to... Uh, extend the single image and uh, exhaust it and make variations, make different effects, ganun. experiment, and actually build the concept, an idea for a show or a project. So it's more than just making multiples of your your original artworks. And uh, make works uh, that are only possible with printmaking. The mga techniques. Ayan. <laughs> ganun siya. <laughs> wow. Um... <laughs> Are we going to move on to um, a next slide? But I do have a question for Don. Okay. When, when are we Henry, going here now? Or, wait, what's your question, Angela? When Henry L was uh, working on this timestamps, no? To what extent mm. were you able to help her visualize the either the layout or the you know the uh, the whole exhibition in a way with finale? Was there, you know, some collaboration there? Um, I have to say, Angela, I have to say, Henry L was very clear with what he wanted. There was no... <laughs> no I'm sorry, there's nothing to be done. <laughs> I know. I can imagine. I fell off my chair. <laughs> that, to have that kind of like uh, creative control, no, is awesome. And oh. and I, I really appreciate uh, galleries that would respect that or you know um, uh, approach it from that end. That the the artists and the print they have a vision, sana, and that you know it's not just to suit the physical space, but there's something because she put Henriel, you put so much work into it. You know, I'm sure you wanted it. Exacto na, after it's all done. 50 times. Okay. <laughs> next. Uh oh, next question. Okay. So, next question about prints when people come over the gallery. Wala bang painting jan? <laughs> Tataas ba value niyan? So, ito naman, nakakabit na sa idea na parang it's a lesser, a lesser form than painting kasi parang meron silang hierarchy in their um in their wants no it's always parang una canvas and then pag paper na there's um drawing and then there's a concern also sa uh, how to manage or how to maintain yung sa paper so ang tanong mm-hmm. also yan tataas ba value niyan that also ties in with i think they're also asking, siguro kung may collectors ba yan. Hmm. So, oh. what do you So, Henrielle, <laughs> what's your answer? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make prints. <laughs> okay. Can I just 
something that I picked up when, you know, Don and I were briefly chatting. Uh, and I agree. Henry L., you, you have that draftsmanship that translates so well from drawing into the prints and, and the dry point process that you have chosen. And so it's become seamless, no? Uh, but yet the drawing is only one. Uh, once it's made, pen on ink, you know, it's either you exhibit it, you sell it, or you keep it. But at least with a print, prints, limited edition, you can actually, um, uh, how can I say this? Share the appreciation of your work more widely. But that's what I think also Don was saying. It's not unique. Wala, you know, it's tataas pa yung value. Mm. You know, Don, sorry, no? I'm with Henriel also. It's like, we don't really worry about that. It may go up in value when we die, you know, <laughs> collect the ball. But we want to make our prints because we are, you know, we have a creative vision, a message or whatever. Uh, if it is a, a market that we have to think about, you know, we'll kind of need your help in maneuvering it, negotiating yeah. through it. Actually, we need to build a collector base for prints. Um, mm. Kasi maganda nga madami nga yung ano eh, madaming young collectors and uh, new collectors who are willing to um, get the mga works sa iba ibang media. Um, and from our experience, uh, yung online, nakakatulong siya. Kasi parang, uh, especially prints, it registers very well. Saka kitang-kita nila, kitang-kita nila yung image agad. Tapos, um, also, maganda din yung price point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maganda yung price point. Although not not too low din, pero maganda yung price point niya. So, I would think that we need how to get more collectors is more engagement. Um, more engagement and more education. Yes. And I yes. guess, and, yes, and I guess yung images images uh you know very contemporary mm -mm. Mm -mm. Get also the younger and uh, more interest yeah if if i may the um the price points too also depend on the materials that are available to us Kasi, yes you know there is student grade materials in the philippines we also make substitutions with what we can get but once we're on that learning stage and we're gone, we have uh, improved our skills, our printmaking skills in the process we want, then we invest in the high quality materials, just the way Henry L did. When she says, you know, that she uses Charbonnel, which Ambi also uses Charbonnel, which also, you know, Jess Flores does. Sakin, wow, top of the line, ayun. Made there in France. There is time stamp was offset prints, ah, uh, offset inks, yun. <laughs> <laughs> Wala pa kang pera nung eh. Hindi lang yun. They will survive. They will survive. <laughs> but that's just it. There's also something about finding those substitutions. Mm. Yung, yung quality nila can actually be as good as yung etching press ink lang. Yung offset. I have learned from so many of the local printmakers, no? AP printmakers, even MB, that what they do with substitutions is amazing. So the, you know, materials, may mga solutions yan. Um, the paper is also important. But you know, something that Elmer Borlongan shared huh, in, in his panel talk, he said that he used to use Pelon, like parang fabric interfacing material, which is actually a non-woven, not made of paper pulp. And he said that he did this, you know, what, 20 years ago? It looks just as good and no foxing. So, you know, Don, give us a, a little bit of time to start experimenting and playing, no? Because <laughs> that would say it could withstand the test of time. And of course, you know, Henry L and, and Elmer's, their valuation is also based on their skills and their, you know, careers. 
so the you know the young collectors are are so uh, they got, they're coming in at a good time to start the print collections and with the rising uh, artists um, like Henry L and so on that would be just just go with them grow with them dive deep into an artist do the collections learn about the process talk to them oh they're going to be rewarded very much very much I, you know okay. so two two cents worth next <laughs> <laughs> next oh ito it, it ano ito i think it things na sabi ko ano how do you maintain yung hindi siya madali masi of course this is a question for all paper, for all works on paper naman. Yeah. Okay. Um, Enriel, do you have any quick answers? Wala, gumagawa lang ako eh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, the, the, the works survive. You, you just have to take, know how to take care of them. If I may, mm. uh, Wednesday panel was conservation with Ortigas Library. Okay. And they talked about, you know, acid-free, um, so uh, storage boxes, they're called, you know, clamshell boxes, storing it in glassine with desiccants because you're fighting humidity and you're fighting um, the, the mildew that's from the humidity. So it's not impossible. Um, works on paper, actually abroad, there have been works on paper artists, watercolor artists, even printmakers. Do you know that they will uh, glue it onto a hard you know, canvas or board, and then they varnish it. So varnishing uh -huh. gives it the longevity as same as, you know, an acrylic paint or an oil paint. And then you get that, you know, box dimensionality or the thickness of the board, and then you can still frame it. Um, it's very careful though about the varnish, maybe affecting the way the paper reflects the light of the colors, the pigment. But that's something that we could still explore also. It, it doesn't have to stop us from doing works on paper or different, you know, surfaces. Fabric, if we do it on fabric, that could last a long time also without mildewing. So just give us time to experiment. We're going to have fun. We'll get back to you, Don. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Ito na, we discussed this already. Ito yung edition one or eight. <laughs> Basta hindi lang 13. <laughs> okay, this one. Okay, I'm not speaking for for all galleries. I'm just saying this this happened to Tin Alpase. Um every time we would present a, a, a print, parang kami din nalilito sa different kinds of prints. So we asked Ambi, we asked Ambi, it was a crash course on, on, on this. Tapos, she was so nice and uh, she had us for an entire afternoon at the PAP. Tapos, so she demonstrated the different ways. And it's different when you see it actual na. So mm -hmm. after that, actual, after that, we could confidently say Shinkole. Yeah, <laughs> the pronunciation. Yung pronunciation din. Kaya na namin yon. <laughs> Simple lang pala. Pero yung ibig sabihin. Pero yon. Uh, I think it's important. Nice. Good. Good. Um, again, just ask us questions, Don. Now that you know, you know, you've got Henry L there. You know. Yeah. Uh, anytime. Do we, next, do we have a next? Ano, what's our next slide? Limitations. Well, ito, ah, ito, ito, yung print sizes. Kasi di ba may nagko-comment din na bakit ang liliit pero yung sa abroad ang lalaki. Yun. How do we how do we answer this? And real, you went to Florence, okay? So you can answer that. Go. Kasi wala go. tayong ano eh, wala tayong malaking presses. The one at PAP is only around uh, Three feet, the bed size. Only? Yes. Only? Malaki na yun. Di ba parang ano? Three feet din yung sayo, Angela? Two by three. Two by three. So around that size. Pero when you join like biennials and uh, print exhibitions abroad, yung mga sizes talaga na requirements, parang five feet, six feet. 
prints. Yeah. So, yeah. Diba, wala tayong access to ganung press. So, eto, nung sumali ako dun sa Taiwan Print Biennial, I had to print in section. So, this is actually yes. five, five feet. Mas malaki pa to sa akin. <laughs> I'm not even five feet. <laughs> so five foot print siya, I had to print in sections kasi hindi kasha dun sa bed. So you have to work around with what's available to you. Yeah. Uh, and then the logistics of shipping, is that meaning shipping dawn? Yung logistics? Um, ano ba itong logistics? Accessible to materials? Yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah. Kasi nga, yeah. I okay. <laughs> Ayan, uh, big mouth over here. Uh, <laughs> yung accessibility of materials, tools, and equipment. Nako, uh, I think Henriel knows it. Medyo research-oriented ako. So give me a problem, I'll find an answer. No, I have uh, books, references, and dami mga Facebook groups. You can pose almost any question no, to any printmaking uh, group on Facebook. Um, but that's where we want you know, uh, us, the printmaking community, to help each other about the materials. Mm -hmm. um, I have to say, you know, that we have a group um, that has been, like, saying, oh, you use this paper, you use that brayer, you use that um, ink. So we can problem solve, you know, um, with tools. Uh, you know, people can make their own tools or you can get them Shopee. Really. I mean, Shopee has been pretty good. Um then there's also uh, stores in Asia, so mas malapit, you know, Japanese carving tools, Taiwan, um, you know, they have brayers, they also have tools. They have quite uh, a good source for the printmaking um, tools without having to go mahal all the way to the US or, U or England or Europe. Um, it's the equipment. I mean, Henry L and I both have invested in an etching press. You know, it was the only way to to conceive and, and execute what we want to do. So this is a fundraiser. Again, going back to the fundraising aspect of print fair, yung desktop uh, is at least uh, introductory level, uh, 12 inches by 20 inches. So you can have an A4 print, even with margins. And the paper could be affordable when it's good printmaking paper, it's also affordable in, you know, when you can cut up you know, full sheets. So it's just a start. Uh, but as we get customizable, larger sizes of etching presses, we, uh, AP will test them. Um, you know, Henriel, hope that you will also be able to test these machines because you know how the AP press works, diba? So it's not impossible. We, we're on the road to making those etching presses, no? And then, um, what else? Logistics, Saman. Again, going back to um, Elmer, because he can compare it to his painting career and the problems of shipping, you know, big paintings. You could roll up a print protectively and be able to ship it and show it. And I think in the history of printmaking, uh, competitions abroad in the 70s, 80s, I was reading that, you know, they would just hand carry their prints. So it, it was, um, I, it's all doable. I did, and I, again, I hope that the, the collectors and the art viewers would be able to understand that, you know, we're working on it. We're happy to uh, keep going because with um, Henriello, she doesn't care. She's just going to keep making prints. <laughs> diba? So, I and mean, the next question, maybe Wait, we can still answer. Sa comments. Ito, oh. Durability of plate and how printmakers destroy matrices. Ay, ito oh. pala may isa pang question. No, so, nauna ka, Henriel. Nauna ka. Okay, sige. So, ito may comment. So, durability of plate. Ayan, yung na-mention ko kanina, the plate will start to wear down. It depends on what you're using. With metal plates, you can print more. But mm -hmm. with acrylic sheet, parang 10 at most, mm -hmm. yung kaya niya. So, hindi siya unlimited printing. Mm -mm. So, mm -mm. You have to declare a number of uh, how many are you, you're going to print. That's your responsibility as the printmaker, diba? Mm -mm. Uh, you have to declare how many are, uh, 
how many were you able to print uh, mm -hmm. in an edition, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, hindi siya unlimited na sige-sige print lang. <laughs> um, let's just say you do have a play that you could still use. You would, mm -hmm. could you start a new, ser new series, you know, like a, a new edition of a new series with a variation on the plate. Diba? Pwede, rin. Mm, pwede, like a different color, different paper, different yeah. uh, inking. Yeah. Pwede mo i-hand color. So marami pa rin pwedeng gawin as long as buhay pa yung plate mo. Yes, that's, yes. Ayun, okay. that's another practice din, no? Na na-mention yung pagdi-destroy ng matrix. Mm -mm. Kinagawa mm -hmm. mo ba yun? No, actually, because I, I don't know what I might want to do with the image or the plate in the future for another... Because uh, with layering, you can put it to the background, the image, or you can put it to the foreground. So if I do make a limited edition, I will be very specific, and that's for that. And it's labeled, it's numbered, and it's titled. But I will reserve for myself the option of reusing the plate for another type of series or edition. Depende lang yung subdition ko, sa gusto ko. Question from Ricky. Ah, question for Dawn. Ayan, Dawn. Um, can we put it on the screen? Dawn? Yes. So as a gallery, uh, was uh -huh. it sustainable for you to have print exhibitions or was it more an advocacy? <laughs> if you had a chance to have a lineup of 10 exhibitions in a year, how many will you devote to printing? Okay, uh, yung sustainability, Ricky, um, I think it can compare to other exhibits uh, depending on, yeah, depending on, um, on image. And actually, yung, for example, yung works na malaro, uh, Prints, for example, not just on paper, but also on textile, on objects. People actually enjoy those. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we have to go beyond, I think. We have to experiment with our materials talaga. Yeah. And yeah. think new ways of, of using um, the medium. <laughs> Yun talaga. So we have, to, we have to present to this... Uh, 2021 audience. So, um, in terms of sales, I think it will not be a problem if the works are um, exciting and fun. Yeah. 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 That, that is so encouraging. So <laughs> <laughs> like now, I mean, there's so many kinds of material that people use. I don't think... Um, we shouldn't have this problem anymore. Eh, parang it's a, uh, I don't know, parang old ano na siya, eh, question. Pero I'm sure it's very relevant pa rin now. But we should be able to go next next step na. Okay. Um, the, uh, for us printmakers, uh, mm -hmm. it's like going into hybrid na printmaking. Mm -hmm. um, mixing up processes or using different, uh, you know, sculptural um uh, materials, fabric, wood, metal, uh, because the processes can translate to that. Um, that was one of the challenges that Patrick Flores threw, out, uh, threw at us and said, so what is the future of printmaking? And he showed some very nice, you know, uh, examples. So that that is something that we, we hope to keep trying and then present it to galleries and exhibitions um, to see if it will hold up. And that's, again, with our intention of showing and sharing and inspiring. So that's, yes. uh, that's a nice challenge. Um, yes. There, um, yeah. I, see, I see online, kasi Angela, for example, in, you know, social media, on Twitter. You know, there are actually um, museums and print groups that show their works there on Twitter, huh? And, wow. And people are... <laughs> People are interested, so so I'm not ano parang not not so worried. In fact, I think we should be positive. 
um, it, I think you've got, you know, it's, you want to put yourself into a niche um, opportunity, you know, thank you. Go for it, Don. Go for it. You know, it didn't know. Um, you mentioned Twitter. Oh my God. Now I have to get there from Instagram. I just got into Instagram and now you want Twitter. Oh God. <laughs> Help me. Question. Let's go back to a question here. Um, uh, from Mars, Mars, a good printmaker who's been following a lot of panels, in the process of destroying a matrix, it's possible to come up with smaller matrices, more uh, smaller plates. Is it still okay to make new works from these destroyed plates? Henry L? For me, okay lang, kasi it would be different from your first edition. Eh. Yes. So that's a new plate na. Once you destroy, yeah. that's, uh, that's another plate na. Yeah, so, not destroy, change. Not destroy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Change. 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 Change the smaller, plate. smaller. Yeah. yeah. Um, I wouldn't Wait, even it. say, uh, I wouldn't even say cut up, no? Whether then you can also add things to it. It becomes a colograph, no? If you build up the textures and so you hmm. ink it still, Italia style with a with an etching press. So those can be, uh, I mean, manipulations, changes. To yeah, sele an selective plate. inking, selective wiping, no. so, okay. I want a workshop with you, huh, Henriel? You will teach us <laughs> your tricks. <laughs> there, there's another question. Um, okay. Uh, what about, do you think that it's original work, Henriel? Because you work from a sketch and then you have a drawing. And then you make a print from your drawing. Is that technically a reproduction? Hmm. Tingin ko hindi. Kasi iba pa rin yung ink eh. Like, iba yung quality ng ink, the contrast, and mas soft yung pen and ink. And marami siyang, marami pa rin ikaw ma-observe na differences between the original drawing and the print. Oh, good, so, good. So, I think, uh, ibang yeah. work siya for me. If, if I may point out to Dawn, you know, that if, if you would view the original sketches, you know, Picasso has done that, Henriel does that too, uh, Elmer does that, and then they make the prints from it, the plate, and then the addition. And then afterwards, even the finished plate, if it was framed and uh, in such a way that it cannot be reprinted on, that becomes an additional piece of art. So, you know, it, it, it could multiply into different, um, I guess, iterations from concept drawing to prints edition to the final plate that will never be printed again. I, I have to point out, I have a beautiful piece by Ambi Abano after she had printed, you know, a carved uh, uh, wood block and then she printed the addition. She had the block mounted and framed, and it was like, oh my gosh. Sorry, I had to get it. I had to get it. No. <laughs> so good on, no. Um, that that is something to develop uh, throughout a printmaker's um, studio practice. Uh, yeah. So. Um, I don't know if we have any questions. You know, Don, do you have any more questions from Henry L or from Big Mouth? Henry L, what's next, Henry L? Hmm. <laughs> On the spot. Ako mo kalabas eh. Yeah. Hindi, marami pa yan. Kasi yung ano, hindi ko pa naman nakakapture yung buong like different seasons, different colors. Ang dami pa niyan eh. So... Ang dami ko pang gusto din gawin with that view and other prints din. Mm. And ways, color, add texture, mix with other techniques. May lalabas dyan. <laughs> Gaya ng trial and error ko. <laughs> You're muted, Angela. Henriel, I'm sorry. You still have some more slides. Huh. Oh, wait. Oh, ito lang yung... Yung print, para makita lang yung scale. So that's five feet across and around two feet. This is the Taiwan? Height. Yes, yeah, this yeah. is the Taiwan piece. So Sir Benj of PAP, he was kind enough to lend me his 
giant bear. So it works like a rolling pin for dough. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So I based my the size of my matrix with the width of the office brayer. So ayan, gusto ko rin bumili ng ganyan. <laughs> Oy, ah. Bite bite ni Sir Benj. <laughs> Sandali ha. Um, si Bea I'm... has a question. Oh. Okay. Bea. I'll be right back. Go ahead, Bea. Uh, can you flash the question on the screen? Okay, Henry, so, sayo yata to. I've had this discussion with fellow artists and some were taught or believe that in printmaking you're supposed to know or be sure of how the outcome would look like as opposed to some who actually prefer the spontaneity and the shock factor and the no chance of the prints from the plates. What do you think? What do you enjoy? Hmm, for me, parang both siya eh. Kasi hindi mo alam yung lalabas. Kasi kahit ilang taon ko siya na ginagawa, I'm still learning from the process. So, alam niyo yung print reveal? You don't know what's go what, is what it's going to look like. So, parang ano yun eh, uh, suspense yun eh. <laughs> yung in Anticipate? Yung, oh, oh. Yes. Anticipation. So, Nako. It parang is so... Pot parang pot pottery, ano? Hmm. You, you don't know what you're talking about. Meron kang mga... Uh, <laughs> techniques na parang alam mo yung mangyayari, pero meron ding factors na hindi mo controlled. So, I think it's a combination of both. Mm -hmm. Kaya ang signing ay sa huli. So, if the print turned out to be unique and you can't reproduce it, you just name it one by one, one over one. Yes, tama. tama. That's, what, that's why the signing is at the end of the uh, the printing. Oh, so may decision making pa din. Oh, so may decision making pa din. At the end. Uh, you know, did I make my whole complete edition? Uh, will I break it up into, you know, variables? Because even the finished print can also be further manipulated by hand. Because now we have a print. And, and there have been ways of coloring it, adding color to it, making it, you know, um, uh, yeah, uh, that we can uh, actually, you know, continue and extend it. So yeah, that's why Printmakers sign with pencil so they can wet the paper again and you know make yeah yeah Tama. If they want, they have something to do with them. So um, I think we ended. Oh, we finished all the slides with a fantastic all the slides that Henrielle and Dawn and your questions, Dawn, that prompted the whole thing. <laughs> thank you for asking them. And what I wanted to do was. Thank you both very much for your you know, contributions to this panel presentation. Um, questions and then answers and then promises, not no, offering, offering more that will happen as long as the printmaking community keeps going. So yes. um, before I let you go, I just wanted to say that, you know, if you can stay on, there'll be uh, another panel this time for Don for Ramon Hofilenia of Silai. Yes. Uh, you know, his own collections and everything. And for everybody out there, we have uh, two more days today and tomorrow, Sunday, for the print fair at cartelino.com. And uh, take a look at the range of prints available. And then uh, panels to this afternoon and tomorrow, two special panels. Um, and we'll be ending with the, uh, the one is about social activism with Fandi Aviado and Chong uh, Sevillano. I'm really sorry if I, if I misname it. And then the last one will be an awesome panel with uh, the Ateneo Art Gallery. Ambi Abano in conversation with um, uh, Jahir Said and Kitty Kong Tilawak Tanoy. Um, that's representing the Philippines, Indonesia, and um, uh, Thailand. And that's uh, registration only by Zoom at the Ateneo Art Gallery. So please sign up for that. It's by registration by Zoom. Thank you. So I have to let you go. Thank you very much. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Ms. I'm going to be in touch. I'm going to be in touch. Don, madamong asalamat kid for everything. And then we'll see you again soon. Okay. Everybody out there, be safe out there. Thank you. Be safe.